today on Lucky Dog. Let me clear the dance floor. We're dusting off our dancing shoes. Good boy, dance! As one Chihuahua mix trains up for a new dance partner. My dog passed on about two and a half months ago. And you sure you're ready for a dog right now? Absolutely. But will Junior's lack of motivation... He'd much rather be showing off tricks than doing obedience. ...spell disaster for graduation. I may have to get a little creative. I'm Brandon McMillan and I've dedicated my life to saving the lonely, unwanted dogs that are living without hope. My mission is to make sure these amazing animals find a purpose, a family, and a place to call home. Today, one dog will be saved and one family will have a new best friend. This is Lucky Dog. Get it! Good boy! Winston is no one-trick pony. Put your feet up. Good, 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 good. Oh. While most dogs burn energy on daily walks, Winston prefers honing his natural instinct, acrobatics. Give me a big one. Big backflip. Big one. Good. Big one. Even a bigger one. Good. Get it. Good boy! As Winston takes a well-deserved water break... Good boy! Brandon takes a call. Hello? The West Valley Shelter just contacted me, and they said they have a Chihuahua and possibly Italian Greyhound mix that keeps getting overlooked time and again. They're not really sure why he keeps getting overlooked, because they said he's great with other dogs, really great with people, but unfortunately, he's been sitting in that kennel for a long time now with time running out. <laughs> hi, hi, hi there. Oh, yeah, 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 I know. You're excited. Yeah, you're an excited one. You're an excited one. With shelters teeming with chihuahuas, standing out from the pack can be difficult. But Junior's effervescent personality can't be denied. I know, it's exciting. It's exciting. What are you doing? Huh? You're a little chihuahua. I know. I know. There's too many of you in the shelter. Too many chihuahuas in the shelter. But guess what? Today, there's one less chihuahua. Come on. I know. I know. It's exciting. Okay. I know. You're free. You're free. Junior appears to be the picture of health, but looks can be deceiving, so Brandon schedules a checkup. Hey, Dave, how are you? Good, how are you? Good, good. This is Junior. He has an appointment with Dr. Nardi. I see you right here. Hey, Junior. Hello. Hello, Dr. Nardi. This is Junior. I just got oh, him. hi. Hi, Junior. He looks like he's healthy, but I want to get your opinion. Absolutely. I'll do a full exam on him. Hi. Eyes look excellent, nice and clear. Oh. All right, let's take a look in your ears. Good, one clean ear. Good, both ears are clean. Good. Good, heart and lungs sound excellent. He looks very healthy. All right, so let's take a look at his teeth. It's okay, sweet pea, I know you're nervous. So I'm starting to see some tartar buildup. If you look right here yep. on the canine tooth, there's quite a bit. Um, and also on the other canine, the concern with the tartar buildup, you know, especially in the small breeds, their mouths are smaller. So the teeth are all crowded. So the tartar just kind of builds up and has nowhere to go. Okay. Is that why a lot of smaller breeds, you see them losing teeth when they hit middle age and senior years because of this? Absolutely. So what I would say is when I see him back for his next comprehensive exam, we're going to want to do a teeth cleaning. Okay. For the small breed dogs, we tend to do annual teeth cleanings. Okay. Just to slow down the rate of infection in the mouth. So overall, he looks excellent. So he's healthy enough to start training? Absolutely. The ears work, right? That's the most important part. Yes, they do. <laughs> you better be listening then. Okay. <laughs> good enough for me. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Nardi. See you yeah, soon. Sounds good. Bye. 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 With a clean bill of health, Junior's one step closer to a new life. Okay, come on. One that could lead him to Jerry, an 81-year-old Korean war vet looking for a new compatriot. My father had a wonderful terrier mix named Buddy. He was a completely different person. He had this motivation every morning to get up. He had a routine, and he is definitely a man as a former Marine that likes routine. Tragically, Jerry and Buddy's time together was cut short. My dog companion, Buddy, 
passed on about two and a half months ago, and there's a void now. I immediately contacted Brandon because I knew how devastated my father was. It is like anyone who's given something wonderful and that is then taken away from them. They then know how wonderful what they had was. Stay right there. I got something for you. Junior could be Jerry's new wonderful. See that? Try it on. But first, he'll need to prove himself at the ranch. And that begins with a red training collar. All right, come on. Let's go meet the pack. Come on, come on, come on. Welcome to the Lucky Dog Ranch. Oh my gosh, go play, go play. Get rid of some of that energy. Junior's excitement spills into his first official day of training. Hey! Uh, that'll be an off. First thing I'll teach you. Well, you show me everything. Today I'm gonna assess Junior's knowledge of the seven common commands, which are sit, stay, down, come, off, heel, and no. All right, let's see what you know. Do you stay? Well, I tell him to stay and I back off. Really? Stay? And he stays perfectly. All right, I think you were taught something. Good boy. So we're actually off to a pretty good start here. And then it all went downhill. Can you sit? Can you sit? Sit. He didn't have it, which was kind of strange because he actually has a stay command. Do you go down? I can see you do a bow. Well, we're not performing, my friend. We're not doing a stage show. Can you go down? No. No. It's safe to say that he has hardly any training, and he might be a very difficult dog to train because he has some of the highest energy I've ever seen in a dog. Brandon's secret to grounding Junior's spring-loaded energy, the down command. The down command is one of the more underrated commands out there, especially for high-energy dogs. This eliminates so many problems because it puts your dog in an instant park. So I put a harness on him, and to that harness, I attach one leash called the anchor leash. That's attached to an eye bolt behind him. I attach a second leash to his collar. This is called the guide leash. This one gives me control. From there, I push down on the leash slightly. I'm not forcing him down. I'm simply putting a little bit of pressure to where he has two options. He can resist it or go with it. And Junior opts to go with the flow. Lie down. Good, good, there you go. That's a lie down. He's now realizing that resisting is not getting him the prize. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, good boy. Uh, easy stuff, right? What do you say we take a break? Come on. Coming up. Sit. Junior's penchant for showing off. Hey, whatever that sit. Grounds his education. He'd much rather be showing off tricks than doing obedience. There you go. Hey, what happened to that sit? Come here, sit. There you go. It's Junior's second day at Lucky Dog Ranch. And although he's proving to be a highly intelligent student, his lack of motivation Stay. is becoming troublesome. <laughs> da, 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 da. Stay. My biggest challenge is keeping Junior interested. He'd much rather be showing off tricks than doing obedience. Brandon is sure Junior will learn the common commands. The question is, how quickly? I may have to get a little creative. While Brandon reassesses his approach, he hits the road for Calabasas. Today I'm gonna meet up with Jerry and his daughter Dana to see if Jerry is a good match for Junior. Hi Brandon, come in, come in. Dad, Brandon's here. So Jerry, you've had a dog before, haven't you? Yeah. What was he like? He was great. He was a rescue dog. He was a very good companion. I really didn't want to have a dog at my age anymore, the responsibility. But there was a connection when I saw him. Unfortunately, um, he had some problems, medical. Uh, you know, Buddy died in my arm. How long ago was this? Well, about two and a half months ago. And you sure you're ready for a dog right now? Absolutely, absolutely. Now he can't not have a dog. 
In the last several years, my dad, a lot of his best friends have died, and he was so down. And when he got Buddy, I remember thinking, like, this just gave him 10 more years. And when he lost Buddy, I got a little concerned. It was really traumatic losing him. I didn't know how attached I really was to him. So the reality is, you think it's a good idea for him to have a dog, not only for physical reasons, but for mental reasons. I think he needs a reason every single day to get out of bed. And ever since Buddy has passed on, um, he has not had that. Almost like a motivator. He needs the motivation. He needs to get up, get dressed, go to the park, be social with other people. I liked everything I saw. Jerry's a great guy. But now that I know of Jerry's limitations, and I do know of Junior's high energy drive, that's the only red flag that I see. But I do have a couple tricks up my sleeve that I think can work in this situation. Coming up. Put your feet up. That's a good boy. Junior gets dance fever. That's a feet up. Perfect. Good. When Lucky Dog returns. If you are 18 or older looking to adopt a dog in the L.A. area and want to be on the show, write to us at cbsluckydog at gmail.com. Tell us why, and you might be selected. Two days ago, Brandon rescued Junior. Good boy, Junior. A sprightly three-year-old Chihuahua mix in hopes of finding him a forever home. After yesterday's home visit with Jerry, he's even more convinced Junior could be the right fit. A dog like Junior is perfect for a guy like Jerry. Jerry's actually excited to be getting a dog with energy because it'll get him out of the house. But Junior's unfocused energy has been problematic in training. You see, Junior's mind, he's always in trick mode. He wants to do tricks. He's like an acrobat that has that talent. But when it comes to the basic obedience, the seven common commands, his mind doesn't want to go there. So everything clicked right there on how to train Junior. I'm going to trick Junior into obedience. If I can keep that mind focused after I teach him a trick, in turn, I can teach him a base and common command. For the first lesson, Brandon keys in on Junior's natural instincts. Let me clear the dance floor. I noticed that he had a little jumping habit. Today, I'm gonna capitalize on it by teaching him a dance. Since Junior already has a natural ability to wanna to stand on his hind legs, the first step should be pretty easy, but I have to put a command to it. I hold his treat high in the air and I say, put your feet up. Right as I say that, he stands up on his hind legs. From there, I reward him, I say, good job. Come here, put your feet up. That's a good boy, put your feet up, good. I repeat the process over and over. That's a good boy. Put the feet up. There we go. Put the feet up. Put the feet up. Good, 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 good. There you go. Put the feet up. All I'm doing is conditioning him to a new command. Put the feet up. There you go. Good, 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 good. There you go. That's a feet up. Perfect. Good. Junior thrives on the challenge. And with his mind still stimulated in trick mode, Brandon seamlessly segues into a common command. OK, get up here. Get up here. Now your mind's set. Give me a sit. Good. There we go. Gotcha. I gotcha. I asked Junior to sit, and he sat perfectly. Now give me a down. Good. Good. That's a down. Perfect. All Junior needed was a little bit of motivation. In this case, it was tricks. Chase that tail. Good. And chase that tail. Good, 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 good. Having cracked Junior's code, Brandon adds more tricks. No. Nope and more commands to Junior's repertoire. OK. I know. You learned it. You learned it. There we go. No more. All right. Come on. Coming up. Get up here. It's pop quiz time. But will Junior rise to the occasion? There you go. Give me a dance. Come here. Put the feet up. Put the feet up. Ready to start going? Here we go, ready? Three-year-old Junior has one passion in life, showing off his sweet dance moves. Put your feet up, that's a good boy. Okay, get up here. 
but getting him to focus on obedience has required an innovative approach. Gotcha. Teaching the common commands and tricks in tandem. Good, 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 good. Today, this tiny dancer takes his skills to the next level, choreography. Today, I'm gonna to finish training the dance by adding the most important element, the twirl. So I have Junior stand up on his hind legs, but this time I start spinning the treat above his head. The first time he follows it, he tries to turn his neck and it doesn't work. Finally, the third time it clicked in. He turns his neck. The only way that he can continue to follow that treat is to actually move his legs. Give me a dance. Good, 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 good. Dance, good boy, dance. Now he's grasping the concept, so I can start inching my hand further and further away. It actually got to the point where the second I told him to get on his feet, he started dancing by himself. That's a good boy! That's a dance! This proves two things. Number one, he understands the command. And number two, he likes it. Is that fun? Good boy. Thank you, thank you so much. You're a better dancer than me. I'll tell you that much. Come on. Having learned his choreography, Junior takes the rest of the week to rehearse his steps and perfect his common commands. But as the sun sets on his training, one big question still remains. How much has he retained? So today is kind of like a pop quiz to see how he's doing on everything. Get up here. From the start of it, Junior blew my mind. Go, now chase your tail. Go, now chase your tail. Go, now give me a sit. Oh, that's a good boy, sit, go. Whether it was a common command, stay. Very good boy, that's very good. Or a trick. Give me a dance, good, and a dance. Very good boy, that was a dance, good. He was rock solid A plus on every single thing I asked him to do. Good job, buddy. I think you're ready to meet your new family. Junior proved to me today that he's ready for his new family. But the real question is, is Jerry ready for Junior? That right there is the ultimate test. Coming up. You want to say hi to somebody? Yeah! Junior meets his new dance partner. You gotta prove to me you know how to work him. Absolutely. Okay, right. put the feet up. Give me a dance. Good! Junior, the three-year-old Chihuahua mix, has finally found his groove. Initially saddled with motivation issues, he's now thriving in Brandon's trick-driven approach. But although he's proven his aptitude in dance and the seven common commands, it still takes two to tango. So today's the big day. Junior gets to meet his forever family, but I still need to make sure Jerry can handle him. You wanna say hi to somebody? Yeah! Hey! Brandon walked in with Junior and my dad's face lit up. It was a look I have not seen since he had his dog buddy. This is a pleasant surprise. <laughs> <laughs> the connection and the chemistry were obvious. It was an instant home run. You want a belly rub? There you go. You want a belly rub? Oh yeah, you like a belly rub, huh? It feels really good to have a dog in the house again. I missed it. What do you think, Jerry? I think I'll keep him. You keep him? Oh, good. <laughs> You're about to give me a heart attack there. I, I thought you were going to send him home with me. I'll tell you what. Why don't we go outside? I'm going to show you how to train your dog. OK. Oh, you you got to prove to me you know how to work him. Absolutely. Come on. Come on, Junior. Come on, come on. All right, Jerry, let me show you a few things here. OK. First off, when you get to train him, get his attention. See this? Mm -hmm. Once I have a dog's attention, I can make him do whatever I want. Now watch this. I'm gonna say sit, and as you see he sits, I want mm -hmm. you to give him a treat. Sit. There you go. Good, Good boy. Good. Yeah. One command at a time, I show Jerry the techniques. Stay. And being an experienced dog owner, Jerry doesn't disappoint. Come. Heel. But Brandon still has one last trick up his sleeve. So, Jerry, I know you had your concerns on the days you couldn't take Junior to the dog park about releasing his energy. So, what I did for you is I trained him a couple unique ways to release energy all through training. And furthermore, it's also a fun way to show off to your friends at the VA. They'll love it. Watch this. Junior, come here. 
Put the feet up. Now give me a dance. Now give me a dance. There you go. Good boy. I knew that Brandon was going to go for the seven basics, but I had no idea that he did a few other things as well. It was very surprising. Now watch this. Tell him to put your feet up. Put your feet up. There you go. Do it, Dan. 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 Give him a treat. Give okay, good, good boy. boy. This yes. comical, it makes me laugh. <laughs> so I'm gonna wind to do it more. Well, Jerry, it's all yours. I thank you. It's a great gift. You will be well taken care of. Before I walk away, there is one more thing. Okay. Oh. And with that, Junior becomes the newest graduate of Lucky Dog Ranch. I can't thank you enough. All right, take care of him, Jerry. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you so take much. Take care of him. So long, Junior. Jerry and Junior, they both needed motivation in their lives. Jerry needed the motivation to get up and out into the world after he lost his dog, Buddy. And Junior needed motivation to reach his full potential. Now, they can be each other's inspiration. From hopeless to a home. That's my mission. One dog at a time.